Hello, this is going to be a, uh, I hope, better and quicker tutorial on RemoveBot than the previous one. Uh, this is for 1.4.2, which is the newest version at the point of recording. That's probably going to change because I get bored. Um, so let's, you'll notice here uh, in this folder, tutorial, uh, we're going to use these things. We're actually only going to use one of these two, but I put both of them in here as options for you. Um, so RevBot, obviously, that's the, the download, the tool. Then there's QuickTime Installer and QuickTime Alternative. Both of these will work. Uh, it's up to you which one you want to use. But uh, basically, you're going to open these up, install them, uh, and then just restart your computer. It's opening up on my other monitor, actually, which is why you don't see it. After you install it, restart your computer, and then you can come back to where we are. Uh, you don't need to install QuickTime or its alternative. Uh, if you want to use a version of RevBot that doesn't install, I mean, that doesn't convert directly from uh, the demo to the MP4, but this is by far the quickest and easiest way to go about it. But I'll teach you how if you want to avoid that later. Um, just look at the timestamps in the description. Review from the future here, uh, I decided I'm going to put each of the sections in their own videos so they're easy to get from just like a playlist just looking at it uh, instead of using time codes. So yeah, that's a thing. So if you are someone that uses the Valve system already, you likely have a underscore events file in your demos folder. Uh, if not, if you use PREC, you're going to have a file called killstreaks.txt. Uh, you will need to rename that or just copy and paste it into underscore events at some point. But basic use case uh, installation and there on. So what you do is your first time installing RyukBot, you're going to get a little prompt like this. It opened on my other monitor. The installer. Uh, so it's going to walk you through essentially how everything is going to be set up. Uh, and this version number is actually outdated. So that is a thing I need to fix. Uh, thanks me for realizing that because that is wrong. Um, so here, let's just go ahead and hit enter to continue. Uh, so this right here, this value right here, uh, you just get that from this right here. The one I put in is the default value because that is purely stock standard TF2 install and then the demos folder, which is stock standard for the demo system itself. And oh God, moving that away. So uh, for me, I would just use default. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this, paste it there and hit enter. This is another weird one. This tells RyukBot if it should start recording the next demo automatically. So what it'll do is it'll take your underscore events file uh, and when it finishes recording this clip, it'll automatically start this next one. When it finishes this one, it'll start this one and so on and so on. If you put it as no, after it finishes this one, it'll just close TF2 and then you'll need to open it up again to start this one. Um, if, yeah. So I recommend leaving it on one. You do have a risk of it crashing like mid demo or as it's going between demos, but uh, you are probably not paying attention. So uh, you can just do it whenever. But yeah, it's just a convenience thing. So then it just automatically ran Ryukbot and did everything for me. So essentially what it did is as it says, it loaded the events file, uh, it started scanning, created the backup, which is in this backups folder now. And then it created what are called VDMs. Um, I'm not going to go in complete detail on what a VDM is, but we'll close that down. And it created these little VDM files. Uh, and we're just going to open one of these. We'll just open this first one. Uh, and we're going to move it from the demos folder into the Team Fortress folder. And uh, let's open up TF2. Basically, all you're going to do now that you have something in your TF folder is you are simply going to play demo and then play that demo. So in this case, it's the 2021. Uh, we're just going to hit enter. Oh, it's a Koth King demo. Wow, we're getting fancy. 
So it's just going to load up the demo. It's going to load up that little VDM file that Ryubot uh, created. And then it is going to, uh, at least at the opening, start normally. Uh, that confuses a lot of people. Uh, but here, let's wait until it actually happens and you'll be able to see. Okay. So it starts relatively normally, uh, as you can see at the very beginning, it just plays. Uh, and then it skipped. It just did a massive uh, skip there. And essentially what it's doing is it is going to the part where the first, uh, the very first clip is, and here it is starting to record. What it just did that little freeze was it activating all of the commands we put in. So we told it to disable the HUD, and so it disabled the HUD, and now it's recording at 120 FPS. So the reason for this slowdown that's going on right now is it's actually recording uh, each frame, frame by frame. This is why I recommend when you hit play demo is to actually just leave your computer and uh, just go get food or something and just let it run. Now, it's very unlikely for it to crash mid-recording. Uh, it can happen if something actually in the demo causes it to crash. Um, but TF2 is a very crashing game. It likes to crash, so it's it can crash after the recording is over. But at that point, you can view the recording. That's basically it. I'm kind of rambling. Uh, I can skip and fast-forward through this. 120 FPS obviously takes twice as long as 60 or four times as long as 30. So the FPS you put it at actually determines how long it takes to record everything. Also, uh, here's an example of my uh, my mod that I made ages ago. So enjoy that little thing there. I, I'm going to skip past this and I will see you guys when it's over. Well, it looks like it's essentially over. Uh, I've stopped moving. Um, so basically what it's going to do now is it's actually going to close out of TF2. Um, it's going to, well, it's going to attempt to load the next demo because that's what we told it to do. However, since this is the only actual demo there, uh, it's not going to do anything about it. But what we can do is that. Okay, yeah, see, it tried to load the next demo, but it was unable to find it because we didn't move it into the right folder. But, yeah, that's basically uh, the actual recording process. I'm going to load up the video itself and show you guys what it looks like. So, here is the clip right here. So, one thing I want you to notice is that it's the name of the demo it's from, and then the ticks it's between. So, this was the starting tick, this was the ending tick, and then the type it was. So, in this case, it was a bookmark, so it's labeled as BM. But here's the clip itself. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's just me missing all my shots, uh, pretending to cloak away, getting caught, generic jump stab. Who cares? So, that's essentially it but you'll notice it records in uh, 120 fps which is kind of hard to tell since i'm not recording in 120 fps 120 frames per second now you can make that as large as you want but that's just my example so uh there we go i guess that's the basic tutorial uh and then it would normally keep looping through your demos but in order for speed's sake this is the one you're getting is this clip right here so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in, I guess, the next section.